We should be live in five, four, three, two. Okay, we are live now. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Game on Cloud Nine here to bring you a special interview today with none other than Sakura Haruno Girl. She's an experienced cosplay pro. So let's go ahead and just cut straight into this as we always do. This is the first shining spotlight of the year. So one thing I want to say, um, I'm so happy today that you came on the show. Um, this this is... <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um, this is actually, uh, you're actually the first cosplayer that we've had on here too. So that's that's something that... <laughs> yes, I'm like, um, so wait, you actually said this is your first interview? Yeah. I'm actually shocked, like, seeing it, like, all the work that you've done, I mean, all the cosplays that you've done, the, um, I actually can show the audience a little bit of a slideshow of some of the, um, images that I have that, um, that you've taken that were, um, of different, um, characters, we have, I know there was one that had Matoko Kusanagi in there I thought was really awesome. Oh, yeah, I love that outfit, that was, like, yeah, and the audience, they should be able to see some of the images right now. Um, there's, a, I know you did Faye Valentine, that was in there. You've done Nami. You've done... Um, yeah. I probably have probably over like 40 different cosplays. Oh yeah, most definitely. I um, So like, I have to ask you, what got you into cosplay? I know that's the most basic question in the world, I know, but like, we well, have to... Got, So you're saying your parents were the ones who actually got you to start dressing up? Yeah, actually, and I would do it not just during Halloween, but like other times of the year as well. And, uh, you know, they dressed me up, take me different places, and, you know, I, I found it fun. I thought it was really cool. And then as I got older, say around, uh, I think I was in fourth grade, when I really uh, started to like, oh, maybe we'll not, we'll not uh, Disney characters anymore. We'll do like anime. I was huge, huge anime fan. I still am a huge anime fan. If you couldn't tell, but yeah. So <laughs> wait, so uh, if you were doing yeah. Disney before, like, like, um, what age were you when you were doing this? Like doing uh, Disney. Well, well, I was like a little kid, so like three, you know, like six. Oh wow! Three. Like, dang! So you were like doing yeah. this a little tyke. saying that you had a lot of the um sakura cosplay like you had every different one so like of course with your screen name being sakura haruno girl like i have to know like is 
was Sakura at one point like a big influence for you? Was it like a character that you kind of? I love her. I know a bunch of people don't like her. I'm, God, I'm about to say, you know, people like say Sakura is useless. <laughs> The last. I, I like that outfit for Sakura, the, the last Naruto, the movie, the, that one that she had. But I liked all of their outfits in that one. Like the, uh, yeah, the one I that. Like that one's a little bit more of my favorite. Oh. Then again, a lot of people already know what it is. So. <laughs> but, so wh- but, but, but which one from but which one from part two? Are you referring to the the um, general one or like, the? Yeah, the general one. Like the time skipper one. Right. Yeah. 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 Ye
Personally, love it. So, um, coming from the heart. <laughs> I'm guessing you do a lot of you're doing a lot, you do a lot of photo shoots. Then is that what you're? Is that where you meet a lot of people? Because like, um, I okay. Originally, I didn't start doing photo shoots. Um, originally, I just dressed up for like one or two days, and that was it. And um, now I dress up every single day <laughs> at the conventions. And honestly, uh, it all started just talking to a random person waiting online for, like, a panel or the line to get into the actual convention. Like, you meet all these friends, you're like, oh, and then social media is, like, the best place to connect with everyone. So it's like, oh, my name's Julia. It's like, oh, my name is um, Eric. And it's just like, oh, yeah, cool. Uh, so I like your uh, Fomo Alchemist cosplay. Or it's like, yeah, I like your Naruto cosplay. And it's like, yeah, it's an instant connection because you're both anime fans. Like, yeah. So it's, you find a topic that you both are into, which obviously you're going to an anime convention, so you like anime. So, you know, you make small talk. Like, you know, and then, you know, maybe you see them around the convention. You're like, hi. And you're like, hi. And then hug. So, and then yay. So, Let yeah. me ask you this. <laughs> so, like, I know, and I didn't mean to cut you off, but, like, I guess it just kind of this just popped in my head, like, when you're walking around and you're meeting people, right? From my experience in going to conventions, I know sometimes, you know, you might have, obviously, people wearing the same cosplay. Like, how often do you feel like you encounter that? Um, actually, um, when you're, okay, like, let's say you're going to cosplay someone from, like, a generic anime. Everyone knows it. So, like, Naruto, uh, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. Obviously, you're going to run into those other people who, you know, wear the same costume. And that's okay. What I do when I see someone that has the same costume, I love it because it's like, oh my god, someone likes the same series I do. Someone likes the same character I do. Oh my gosh, I gotta go say hi. I gotta get a picture with you because you're awesome and you're my character. So it's just like, yeah. So I get a selfie or a picture and be like, yeah, look, that's another me. <laughs> so yeah, I I love it when I see other people who cosplay the same thing because it's just so cool. Ah, I love it. Well, I, I guess that's a way to look at it. You know, I always thought like though that like people go to conventions. I know some to... people, some people don't like it, but you know, honestly, I like it because it's like, wow, you like the same person I do. Oh my gosh, instant best friend. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I like that. I mean, that means you're positive about it because you know there are people that like no, no, I, you know, like they 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 want to make sure they 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 pick something so different. At least from my from what I know that I uh, from what I gather that sometimes to you me, don't even know what it is. You don't even know where me, it's coming from. Certain cosplays, like right now, I'm making a cosplay. Uh, it's for KatsuCon coming up, and uh, it was a secret cosplay, but I've just revealed it like on New Year's Eve. I'm doing a uh, Chocobo uh, showgirl kind of themed thing for uh, from Final Fantasy, and um, that's kind of like an original design. But like, obviously, if you see someone with an original design that you made, and I don't think you'll really, you know do something like that but if you do run into like someone that looks like it you'd be like oh my god i had that idea too and to me i would like trade ideas of what you thought like what yours did what was yours made out of all that stuff and honestly that's what i do i don't know about other people other people have different ways to do things but you know <laughs> yeah i guess i mean i don't know like i feel like um I don't know. Like, I feel like when 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 it comes down to deciding a cosplay, you know, you you know, it's it's a careful mix from what I can gather. Because like, I know if I went and did it, I want to try to look like the character to some degree. I mean, I don't. I think it would be very hard, at least for me, to be able to find a character to look just like that I can find just like me. But it would be. Well, I mean, I, I cosplay a bunch of characters that I do not look like at all. Like. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I just do it to have fun and to represent my favorite anime I that I you, like. I think you pull off these characters very well, to be honest with you. You know, I well, think thank you. you. That that's a, that's thank you. <laughs> you know, like I mean, like I, like, I, like I, when I saw that, I'm telling you that Motoko Kusanagi uh, cosplay that you did, I think that was like spot on to me. I, I I had a lot of help with that too. Like I have a great friend. Um, her name is Rayanne, and she, me, and her are like two peas in a pod. 
she actually helped me make a lot of my costumes because I'm not that great of a seamstress at all, but she, like, is amazing. So she helped me make, like, my Space Yoko cosplay. We did a Revolutionary Girl Utina cosplay. She made, like, a lot of my costumes, and I cannot thank her enough because she is amazing. She's so talented. I'm sorry. Shout out to you, Ryan. If you're watching, I love you so much. No. <laughs> so, like, do but, you do yeah. a lot of these from, like, do you guys together do a lot of these from scratch? Yes, a lot of them we do, and then a lot I just, you know, lay down some money and buy it, because why not? But, I mean, honestly, I like, I personally like making everything from scratch, because everything you put into it ha has a purpose, has a meaning, and I feel like when it's all together, it's like, oh my gosh, I did it. I made this. I feel so proud and accomplished. Like it honestly to me to me it doesn't matter if you buy it or if you make it. it I still get that feeling like, oh my god, I'm gonna be this character. I'm so excited. That's that's literally me. So I know a lot of people like like Do you actually doing, act like the character uh, then? Uh, I don't do that. Um only when I'm like on stage or doing a performance, then I'll act like the character. But in person, like if you come up to me, you're like, "Oh my God, it's Saber!" Like, "Hi, I love Saber. Who's Saber?" I'm like, "Wait a minute!" I'm like caught up in the moment. I'm just like, "Oh my God, you're talking to me." Hi, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but uh, so it's uh, kind of funny actually. <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my God, I love Saber. I love Saber too. I am Saber right now. Oh my God!" Like I'm totally not the character. You look, you look, you look. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> I'm like ultimate fangirl if you come up and talk to me. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I, 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 that, that makes sense. I mean, I feel like if I did, I would probably be the same way. To be honest with you, you know, like I mean, you know, if you're doing honestly, something, I love, I love cosplay, and honestly, I think everyone should try it. I know I've said that before, but everyone should try it at least once in your life, okay? And not just Halloween, guys. Not just Halloween. But okay? Halloween does not count. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it can count if that's the only time you can do it. That's fine. That, that's I perfectly mean, if fun. Like a costume. It, then I mean, you might as well use it more than once, you know. Yeah, you spend... see that that that's my whole purpose. Like I have forty something cosplays. Yeah, I don't get to wear all forty something of them every year, but I at least take them out and dust them off and be like, oh look, I'm or look, I'm C two from Kogia, or oh look, I'm Saber. I love Saber. <laughs> so you know, it's it's nostalgic, especially when you look back at all those ones that you've done and be like, wow, I need to redo that one because wow that picture looks terrible or you know it's like you have something that you want to fix or something like that it's like oh but you know honestly just connecting with everyone and be like oh i need an alucard for my sarah victoria or oh i need a sakura for, i need a sasuke for my sakura or you know stuff like that so you know like and then you meet other people who cosplay from the same series and then you get together and then you can have wonderful photo shoots is it is it actually hard to do collaborations sometimes though like because i imagine like you have some cosplayers that you know, they, you know, that, that may, you know, not, you know, be, they may be really friendly. They may, you know, want to include people in on things. And then there's some that are just like solo acts. Like they're like, this is my thing. Well, honestly, I love group photo shoots. I wish I could do more of them. The only thing is it's hard to find people who cosplay from the same series as you sometimes. And the thing is, it's like, oh, like my dream is to have like a, all, like every character from Soul Eater. And I rarely see any Soul Eater cosplayers anymore, so it was really upsetting because I was trying to find a soul for one of my photo shoots, and I was just like, so I was looking online, looking online, and then my friend's like, I'll do it, and I'm like, oh, good! So I had to, like, I step-by-step step walked him through the process of where to get clothes, because he doesn't know how to sew, but where to get the clothes, where to get the wig, it's okay, I'll help you style it, there's videos online, like, it's okay. Like, take your time. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want a soul. Like, that's all I want. <laughs> like, I just want someone to walk around with me and be, like, from the same series. Because I think that's just so cool. But, yeah. But, I mean, it just, um, you know. I, I mean, there are people who do it. And, like, if you see someone who cosplays uh, a character that you would love to have, like, a photo shoot with. Or, like, just talk to them. Just ask them. Be like, hey, um, I would like to really get a photo with you can i get a photo with you and sometimes it's like yeah sometimes they'll say no and you just respect your just their decisions so yeah, yeah. that makes sense 
So like, Hon- oh, well, then again, I'm a little bit more outgoing when I'm at the anime conventions. But then again, I know it, it's hard for some people who are very quiet and oh, oh yeah, they so, may not. They may kind of just want to mind their own business. Yeah, and honestly, I, I've been there, so it, it's I, I, I understand. You just got to find the right moment, and when and when you do find the right moment, you you'll shine. And you'll be in your comfort zone. It's okay. We're all nerds. It's okay. <laughs> we, we all have we all have our little uh, you know, moments. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, I, I've noticed that myself. Like um, sometimes, you know, which I mean, I don't usually take as many pictures as I would like to, like at conventions with cosplayers or whatnot. But like, I know some I've, I've noticed get caught up in all of the the, the hubbub, and you know, it's just like, oh, I really want to take a picture, but I really like that figurine over there. They're gonna go look at that stand, like you know, like <laughs> it's it's hard, it's hard. Well, yeah, no, like I know, like a couple of my um, friends, you know, there'll be times where you know, maybe like towards the end of the convention, you can kind of just tell, like if they're they're like they want to take a picture with somebody, and you know, they might go ahead and do it, you know, being nice or whatnot. But you can kind of tell that they're like, oh, man, they're so tired because they've been taking so many pictures with different people, you know, through the whole thing, you know. Well, I I mean, there are sometimes like at the end of the day, like right at the end of the day, as soon as I'm going home. And if I do, like if there's a lot of people I want to take my picture, I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I have to leave. Mm -hmm. Um, They're usually pretty okay about it. I mean, I've run into a couple of people who are really like nasty about it, but only. I don't think people should be nasty about it at all because, I mean, you know. There, there are some people out there. And you just gotta watch it. But you know, I mean, you dress up as your waifu. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I don't think there's really. I mean, to be honest, I mean, it's like you know, if somebody's you know, being nice if they take a picture with you at all. So it's like you know, I mean, you know, you should shouldn't take that for granted. I guess the thing is, I feel like sometimes people feel like it's owed to them. It's not owed to them. Mm. You know. And okay. Uh, are there actually questions being answered? Like, because I, I, I don't know. I can't see them. I'm on Skype. Uh, I see. Uh, oh, actually, I see one question down here, actually, now. Um, it's from Sorry, I don't uh, have CJ, um, um, maybe mispronouncing this, CJ um, Akuri. Uh, and he said, Julia, did, do you, did you consider Chun-Li as a cosplay? God. Um, well, actually, I'm not going to do Chun-Li. I mean, I would maybe, like, a different color variant, but my best friend wants to do her so bad, and I totally want to be cammy when she's Chun-Li, so I'm just holding off on that until she gets her cosplay done. And then and then I'll go do Chun-Li, because I really want to take a photo with her. Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> There's an, uh, another uh, question, too, down here. Um, have you ever considered uh, doing Dynasty Warrior costumes? I oh think god. you'd kill it as a... Uh, Zing Chai or Zing Chai. Oh my god! Probably I these names right now. have not played Dynasty Warriors in forever. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I really remember from Dynasty Warriors is uh, Lu Bu, and that's it. <laughs> I can be Lu Bu. <laughs> oh man! You know I've never. You know this is probably gonna be really bad. I mean, I've played. Um, wait, which one is it? Because no, I, 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 I guess seven. I didn't play Dynasty I Warriors. Played seven. Because I, no. I was gonna say Samurai Warriors, but I have. Oh played. yeah, I, I've played that too. But I don't. I don't remember i don't remember i really don't remember it's been a long time but i do remember dynasty warriors yeah uh, i mean i would if someone wants to cosplay with me that'd be great <laughs> oh man yeah here's a um a big question that i've actually had for you what is your what do you think about the current especially considering the fact that you you know you when you cosplay you cosplay more for the fun of it but I know that there are some people that, you know, really look for a certain attention. So what do you think about the current state of the industry? Do you feel as though it's becoming too commercial? Um, again, it depends on who you talk to. Um, but I guess I'll put my opinion. Um, so I, I want to say yes, it is becoming more commercial. There's a lot of people who really want to stand out amongst the many of us doing cosplay um i mean i unfortunately it's kind of like you know getting like a real like a real job in life right it's like you gotta (laughs) know people you gotta talk to uh talk to people talk to uh professional photographers talk to like agencies all that stuff and it's like if you don't know those people then i don't think really you're gonna get really much anywhere but honestly i'm really doing it for fun and if it leads somewhere it leads somewhere if it doesn't it doesn't 
I see. I got a degree, so it's okay. <laughs> so do you actually have like a goal set in mind then, like something that you want that you want to oh. peek off at or? Well, 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 right now I would like um, 2,000 followers on my uh, Facebook page, but um, <laughs> I mean, I think I only have like a thousand right now. But that's perfectly fine. A thousand people like me, that's just like insane. I didn't think that was even possible. Like when I first started, I was just like, oh my god. But yeah, so honestly, I guess my goal for 2018 is get a thousand. <laughs> a thousand? Oh, you just, you, you just, I mean, hey, I mean. You know, you mean you're aiming. I, mean, well, I don't really think you're aiming at it because you're not that far away from it. If you ask me, you know, you, I mean, you'll definitely, I'm sure, hit that in, um, you know, this year. I'm pretty sure. You know, you're already over a thousand. You know, and you know, you definitely uh, over nine thousand. No, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, why not aim for that? I would say. No, uh, I mean, I honestly, I do it for fun, and I love it so much. Like. It's a hobby that's slowly taking over my life and everything I do. Like, I, like, even my job. Like, I ask my coworkers, it's like, so do you watch anime? They're like, what's anime? And I'm like, no! <laughs> you know. And I'm just like, what you know, like, like Pokemon. And they're like, oh yeah, I play Pokemon. And I'm like, good! And I'm like, what's that? Let's talk about it. Oh, you know. Don't you actually wish anime was, like, more one of those topics, like, you know how, like, you might go somewhere and someone might mention, like, oh, you, well, maybe you, I don't know if you experienced this as much, but, like, someone might ask, like, for example, me, like, oh, what did you think of the game that has some, happened last night? I don't watch sports, but there was some yeah, I, I don't really watch sports too much either, but, I mean, like, like, it, but like you said, like, do you watch sports? That's a, it's a common, it's like a, what do you call it, an icebreaker. Like, yeah. to break the silence, to, you know, open up, like, hey, do you watch this? Like, no, not really. It's like, oh, well, do you watch anime? Oh, do I watch anime? No. I don't do I would like, love I don't, you I don't like, answer it like that. that chapter yesterday that came out for Naruto or something like that? That would just be Oh, awesome. my God, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> and just, um, like, I wish. What'd you think of that uh, that cosplay, um, you know, so-and-so throughout or whatnot? You know, you just go ahead and say it, and they're like, oh, yeah, I thought this and that, you know. Yeah, I know, but it's like, um, but it's like, uh, I don't want to, like, you know, place names, like, normal people versus anime people, but mm -hmm. for the sake of my, uh, you know, example I'm going to give right now, I'm just going to do it. So, like, normal people, people at my job, people at the grocery store, people going about their everyday lives, and it's like, if you need to talk to someone, it's just like, oh, could you help me, or something like that, or could you, you know, like... Or, like, you know, you meet this cool dude at a bar or a cute girl at the bar and be like, oh, she's really pretty. I mean, obviously, my first my first thing is not going to be I thought you were a weeb like me. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it's a go-to thing. It's like, hey, maybe an odd question, but I don't know. And probably most of the chance that they're, like, a millennial or something or, you know, probably anyone older than 20 will be like, oh, yeah, I used to play Pokemon all the time. Like, you know, but it's like, you know, like, like it's just a, it's a question that breaks ice. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying. I didn't, I didn't catch the, well, actually, I didn't hear the last part of it. Would you mind repeating that again? Oh, it breaks the ice. At a conversation. Sense. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I guess Pokemon somewhat is like a little bit of uh Because, honestly, it was such, so generic. All the kids growing up knew it. Some adults even knew it. So... It's a common thing. It That's leads why Pokemon in... Go could catch on, I guess you could say. You know. That's I... why it was so popular around the world. Because <laughs> I'm like, people that I know, I'm like, you guys don't talk about Pokemon, because I actually play Pokemon, like, competitively. Not the Pokemon Go, but the other one. And when I'm here, like, my sister talking about, like, oh, yeah, download that Pokemon Go app. I'm like, I know you don't even care about this stuff. So, like, <laughs> you don't even know, like, you, you don't even know what the evolutions are, probably. You just know the basic, like, Pikachu, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's okay, but I mean, you know, it's like, it's still like a common thing to talk about. It's like, it's still a, a conversation starter. Okay, well, if they don't like Pokemon, that's okay. Well, then it's like, oh, well, then we'll talk about something else or, you know, something like that. It was just a question. That's why you kind of continue. And I know sometimes there could be awkward silences, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, really quick, uh, Brian um, uh, Chowka said, uh, Julia, what would you do if you had the same fame like Jessica Negri? Uh, 
honestly, I don't think that will happen. But if I did, uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't want to say I'd be a different person because I don't think I'd be a different person. Would you use your influence in any particular way, maybe? Like, you know, like... Uh, spread cosplay positivity. Like, like people don't be mean to each other. Oh, my God. Like, this is like a like a industry that people can be so mean. And I'm just like, why? Like, why? Like, we're just having fun. Hold on, you're like, about to give me a story, because I'm like, I mean, enlighten me. Like, what, what, what situations were, like, ha there have there been like that? I mean, because I'm actually, okay. I actually really don't know. Like, I'm, I'm okay, actually... Okay, so well, it's know. like, well, honestly, it's like, oh, you don't look like that uh, character. Why are you cosplaying her? Or why are you cosplaying him? You're not muscular. Oh, no? yeah, there's that, yeah. Oh, so I like the character. <laughs> like, like, seriously, like, I honestly, like, I've, I've dealt with people like that. It's like, why do you cosplay this character? You don't look anything like them. Because I like the character. Like, is there, do, do I need another reason besides that? Like, <laughs> go on. Like, but you know, like, and just people can be really rude about it. And it, it's if funny. I had, I had that game, I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I honestly want to say, like, I wouldn't even want it. Because just so many people would be, like, rude and obnoxious about it. But then again, I guess you just gotta, you know, I guess it away. depends on, what, you know, what kind of following you build. Because, I mean, you could have a large following like that, but then have fans that are on the same page as you as well. Yeah, yeah. that that is very true. That That is very true. Like, it, it just, you know, like I said, I guess it just depends on the person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it can be rough. Um so would you do, hey. like, if, if Jessica Negri said, hey, you want to do a, a photo shoot with me, just me and you just do a photo shoot, would you do it? Uh, sure. Why not? I mean, if some, honestly, I'd do a photo shoot with anyone. I don't care. I don't care what you look like. I don't care. Like, I, as long as we're having fun and we're going to get ice cream afterwards, we're good. <laughs> but, you know, like, uh, I, honestly, I don't have a personal grudge against anyone unless someone, you know, you know, get hits me the wrong way first. Like, honestly, I, I don't care. Like, Jessica hasn't done anything mean to me. Yeah, I've heard stories, but they're stories. Like, it's never happened to me. I've met her in person. She's, to me, she was very nice and down to earth. But other people say different things. The internet. Wonderful place. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah. No, I, um... You know, I I, yeah, I I think, you know, people really do need to tone it down as far as, like, what you're saying, if, if that's how a lot of people are with the whole cosplay thing. I mean, I have seen it a little bit. I know sometimes, you know, from what I hear, like, certain um, cosplayers of color have, um, you know, they have, uh, you know, issues or people will say certain things because, you know, there's not necessarily, like, a lot of black uh, black yeah, characters in anime. Actually, um, I, I'm in a group uh, on Facebook, and uh, it's just to promote... Um, you know, uh, people of color in cosplay. And honestly, everyone is so beautiful. I'm just like, oh my God, I love it. And they they share photos and everything. And uh, oh my God, I am so, so impressed by everything they do. And I'm like, why do you get to see? You're beautiful. <laughs> like, I don't even understand. Like, oh my God. Like, I, there's just, honestly, as much, as much as people think that there may not be a lot of, like, different races, like, for cosplay, there is. There's so many, and there's so many out there, and there's new stuff coming out every single day. So, you know, like, there's always options open, and you can be anyone you want to be. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I, no I, I agree with you, you know, I mean, and I think, you know, I think people are getting that, you know, are understanding that more and more. You know, I wish I actually saw, I mean, this is nothing against female cosplayers, but I actually wish I saw more male cosplayers get some attention too, because I feel like it's only the women that I hear about, and I'm like, I'm just like, like, I know that there's some good male cosplayers, because I, I might see a I few, know, I know a few. I know, I know a lot of good male cosplayers, and anyone in cosplay, uh, to me, is, is automatically one up on my book, but, um, I know, I know someone, uh, you should probably check him out, I'm gonna give a shout out to him, it's Perry Hall, or Magna Knight Cosplay, and he is fantastic! I love him. You should go check him out. He's awesome. Shout out to you, Terry. And uh, another uh, cosplayer that I love is Megumi-chan. 
she is freaking so cool. But yeah, but um, I'm sorry, just shout out. <laughs> shout out everywhere. But no, uh, Harry, Harry Hall is very, very talented. Like, he makes all his props. He styles all these wigs. I'm just like, how do you cut paper? Like, <laughs> like what is this? But it's just so cool and fascinating to watch him work. And it's so cool. I'll send you a link when we're done with the video because he is really cool. I'll, I'll show you. I'll hit you up. Don't worry about it. I'll hit well, you up. <laughs> no, like, I'm like, well, I don't know. You're gonna have to like send me some, like send me some, or send that, or because I actually had a little hard he time hearing the name. If you can send that to me oh, afterward, yeah. I appreciate oh, Terry, that. Terry, Terry Hall. Terry Hall. Yeah. Okay. He is, he is so cool. Yeah, because I'm like, I, I wish I'm like, I'm like, where are they? Like, <laughs> you know, they're around, but you just gotta be social and gotta ask people. Like, hi, I'm Julia. It's like, oh, hi, I'm Rebecca, or hi, you know, like. He's gotta, you know, I mean, it may be, it may be like, be like, oh, jump into some random person conversation, and like, oh, don't feel like, you know, like, hi, I'm waifu number one, like, no, don't, don't be that way, be like, you know, just slowly, like, hi, it's nice to meet you, I really like your cosplay, can I please get a picture with you, and that's how it starts. Have you ever heard of Tyborg before? Pardon? Have you ever heard of the cosplayer Tyborg? Uh, I've heard of the name, I've never actually seen the work. Okay. I took a picture of Tyborg maybe like two years ago. You know, like, like, I, like, you know, I asked him for a picture or whatever. He took a picture or whatever, right? Going through some of the pictures today, and then I'm like, I go ahead and ask in this one Facebook group I'm a part of, and finally somebody named who he was. I went to his page. I'm like, why does he not have a way bigger following than what he has? Like, you know what I mean? Because I mean, his you know, work is sometimes, great. Sometimes it just works that way. I mean, it's like some people can only go to one convention a year. Some some people only have one cosplay. No, I'm, like, not okay. him. I'm, I'm, I'm not faulting him. I'm saying, I think that, you know, he's underrated is what I'm saying. You know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, and they're honestly, underrating his work. There's a I mean, bunch just... of cosplayers. There's a bunch of cosplayers that deserve so much more fans because they do so much beautiful work. And it just is pushed under the rug. And it's unfortunately, it's really sad. Yeah, you but... know, especially when somebody's going, you know, puts in all the hard time and the work and they're cutting the cutting all the uh, materials and stuff. And I mean, I don't know a thing about sewing, so I know that's got to be a part of the process too. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but honestly, the two best things a cosplayer absolutely needs, safety pins and duct tape. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So there's two other things I want to ask you before I ask you about your collection, because I want to get onto that too, because we're a little bit more than halfway through this stream. Uh, <laughs> before we get to that, I want to ask you about Fallout, because we talked about Fallout a little bit before the stream started. Could you ever see yourself doing a Fallout cosplay? Because I, I don't... I don't Funny you mentioned that, because I currently am in the process of doing a Fallout cosplay. Really? Uh, I already have my job and everything. I'm not going to take it out. But um, I currently do have a work in progress. Honestly, when Fallout 4 came out, uh, I was originally going to go to Anime Boston, but I didn't have the costume um, ready in time, so um, I never got it done, and um, I really regret it, because, you know, Final Four takes place in Boston, and I was just like, oh my god, that's perfect! But, you know, I just didn't get it done. Other things came up. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what are, what are, what are, what are you um, including in this Fallout uh, cosplay? Are you doing, like, a power um, armor, or are you doing... No, I, it's just the regular jumpsuit. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to do my character that I made in my Fallout game. Oh, nice. You know, you're, and you can do like a little side by side and take it like a screenshot of it. and then t Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I'm going to make my Pit Boy and everything. Oh, I'm so sweet. <laughs> oh, man. Like, that game is just the game that, you know, it's like if I don't want to, if I want to basically say, you know what, I'm done with everybody, I'm just cutting myself off from the world and just relaxing. I mean, that's... RPG. Love it. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite games, like, ever. My favorite game franchises. I like a lot of games, but... Uh, my favorite game franchise is the Fallout series, because I love it. Fallout so. series, yeah. It, it, it's got to be up there for me, too. I, I debate on that between that and Pokemon. You know. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pokemon. I, I, had, um, I used to have an Xbox 360, and I had a, uh, a PS2... 
a GameCube and a Japanese GameCube because I had a Japanese GameCube to play all the Naruto Ninja Tizen games. And the Ninja Tizen games didn't come out, like the third and fourth one didn't come out in America. You could only play it in Japan. So I bought the Japanese GameCube just to play those games. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no, no, no. <laughs> I'm fine with you talking about that for a second. I, mean, I hope the audience is because I have to say, I used to collect. Or I had, or I didn't get the Ninja Tyson ones, but I had like um, Clash of Ninja. Oh yeah, you know, the, I the American that. version. I, I had all the ones except for the very first one, and I, well, I still have them actually. What am I saying? You know, and um, you know, I remember used to seeing it on YouTube. Where I'm like, dang, you know, like all these characters in there. Well, when is it gonna come out over here where you get all these different characters? You know. Mm. But what about Storm? Have you you have all the Storm games? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I used to be like, okay, I okay. Back in the day, like four years ago, <laughs> um, I ran a uh, plan on uh, the Storm game on the Xbox. Yeah, uh, I, I was obsessed. It was crazy, and I had a bunch of people. So I would like teach them how to play, and we had like these tournaments with other people, and it was so much fun. I even had a website, but uh, yeah. But then I went to college. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. So, like, do you do um? How did your roommates feel about you cosplaying, or did they also do the same thing? Um, well, my first roommate uh, and I didn't really get along. We didn't really see eye to eye too well, which is interesting because I usually get along well with everyone. But, um, I mean, we got along. We were friends. It just wasn't clicking. And then a girl down the hallway, uh, she loved the anime too, so in some <laughs> And then I got her to cosplay for the first time. Oh man, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> now I know that has to be like you had to feel rewarded with that one. Like when you get somebody oh my God. actually. Sh okay, shout out to Ashley. Ashley is my roommate. I love you so much, Ashley. I miss you every day. But yeah. So and then um we were uh well I was the club president of the anime club in my college. She was the secretary and vice president at one point. So we were, we were like, you know, we were pretty cool. <laughs> and me and her, we, we had a lot of fun time and we, we did a lot of things and we cosplayed and she was like all up for it, which was great <laughs> because I'm a bad influence. <laughs> oh my God. So did you help her put together her cosplay? Like actually like, yes, you know, yes like I did. Yes, I did. And I'll never forget our one cosplay that we put together. She wanted to be Sasha from Attack on Titan. And um, I had to help her make the harness. So we made it out of ribbon, like round ribbon. And it was so funny because we were, we were going to a convention with the uh, anime club. And um, we uh, so we were trying to get her harness on. It was just so funny because I kept trying to like tie these knots on her legs for the harnesses. And I think... I think at that point we're like, we're crazy. It's like, yes, we are crazy. <laughs> because then again, it was really cold outside and we were going in these costumes. So, you know, I mean, yeah. Shout <laughs> out to Ashley. I love you, Ashley. I miss you so much. Well, hopefully she's watching the stream because of that. <laughs> I hope she is. <laughs> we're going to watch the stream, but she's not watching. <laughs> okay. So now we're at like the. I guess towards the closing part of the stream. So, can you? Would you mind showing us your uh, your collection that you have here? I would be delighted to. So <laughs> I know I'm, you've been waiting have, for this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to um, grab my computer and show you. Unfortunately, if you follow my YouTube, I do uh, a weekly segment every single week on Wednesdays, usually, of uh, anime show and tell. And if you look at some of the videos, you can see everything I have in these collections, like face to face. So you don't you don't have to see it over the itty bitty camera. So yes, I'll show you Naruto. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to zoom in. So <laughs> bear with me for one second, folks. You'll still be able to see it while it's going on, but you might see the camera shift a little bit. Can't really hear you too much, Julia. Oh, sorry. I have every single Naruto volume from one to like seventy-two. Uh... 
Wow, okay. Gotcha. Now we can see it a, a bit more. Sorry about that, folks. No, that is okay. But yeah, so I have every single Naruto volume from 1 to 72. Here. How long did it take for you to collect all of that? Huh? How long did it take for you to collect? Well, I mean, not like, did you were getting, were you getting them all at the same time or like, or not, or not all the same? Did you get them piece by piece or did you like buy, like, you know, buy them in bulk? Like, did you get them okay, that Okay, that runs into another story, actually. Um, so, um, I originally had no idea what anime was. And when I was little, my uh, cousins out in Seattle, Washington, brought me into Naruto. They bought me the first manga volume of Naruto and um, ever since then I couldn't go back so literally I had had to bring home an extra suitcase full of Naruto manga because I bought so many so many books and it was insane but I have a story about that on my YouTube if you really want to know more oh, definitely but, check out her channel too I'm going to make sure I link it <laughs> sure and then um, pretty much everything I have I've collected over the years of being an anime fan, so let me see that the 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 um, last figurines. I think that would be, that's really cool. Seeing those, wow, Hinata, Naruto. I guess they just snuffed uh, Sakura, didn't they? They didn't give her a, a last figurine. They didn't, but. But I just pre-ordered a giant figurine of Sakura, and um, it uh, it's it's part of like the Naruto Gal uh, uh, figurine set that's going on. They just made one of Tsunade, and now they just made one of Sakura. So I pre-ordered it, and it should be here by like May, March, March, May, because that's when it comes out. So yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Do I finally any- get a freak figurine of Sakura. But yeah. <laughs> This is this is very random. I know we're talking about your collection right now, but I just want to know, like, did you have any cosplayer like uh, goals? Like, as far as like, I, I know, I asked you what your goal was, but like, do you have like a, how would I say, um, a particular cosplay in, that you're that has been very hard for you to craft that you've been trying to work on? Bayonetta. I I okay. I have cosplay Bayonetta before, but I had a photo shoot, and during the photo shoot, everything fell apart. It was terrible. So ever since then, I was trying to remake it, and like, like it just isn't happening. Like, I already have like the jumpsuit. I don't know if you can see it over here, but this black thing that's hanging up. That's the jumpsuit I'm using for Bayonetta. But uh, it's just not going well. And I just hopefully I can get it up and running by like the end of this year. So dream cosplay Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonetta. I, that's that's a game that I need to play. I've never played Bayonetta. <laughs> Only experience I've had with Bayonetta is in Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, yeah, she's in Smash Brothers. But, um, yeah, play Bayonetta. If you can, it's so good. It's, like, so good. I love it. I just love the soundtrack, too. It's really cool. Kind of reminds you, uh, I don't know if you've played um, Nier Automata. You, you know, know what? I'm going to tell you something, right? You gonna, yeah. This is going to make you laugh. Oh, boy. I own Near Near Automata, right? Yeah. I try to play Near Automata. I like Near Automata, right? Mm Mm-hmm. That's the only game on my computer. I need to upgrade my computer because that's the only game my computer cannot run well, so I refuse to play it until I can upgrade my computer. Gotcha. Well, Bayonet is kind of a little bit like that. I think it's by the same studios, actually. I don't know. I I haven't played Automata yet, but I can compare the gameplay from what I've seen online and my friends play, to Bayonetta. It looks like a good game. I, pl- I literally played, like, a few minutes of it, but it's just, oh, like, my... <laughs> I'm Gotta sorry. get on it, man. Gotta get on it. <laughs> I'm like, I can, like, literally when people say, oh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm like, don't spoil it. I know I've had it for, like, a year, but, like, don't... <laughs> I, I, like, I need to upgrade my computer. But... Uh, so, yeah, the last is... Oh, yeah, Yoko. I have Can't quite hear you. I have my props from like all my cosplay stuff. I just released a video this week about all my props. So yeah, if you want to see more of my collection, just follow me on YouTube. Oh yeah, I definitely want to see those props. You know everything that you've been using. 
I know. Oh what, yeah. And some of them, I'm sure you can reuse, can't you? Oh yeah. I go to that caliber. Saber. Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah, and it, it's all made out of wood. Some PVC in the handle, but. Does it have any weight to it? Um, actually, it's really light. The only heavy part is in the handle, because the handle has like wood and PVC in it. So, did you just order this offline? Or did you actually make it? This I ordered offline, but I have other props that I do make. And let me tell you, when I make props, they're like trash props. So, like, my Yoko gun that I have, I made literally out of $5. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the gun... Okay. It's all made out of styrofoam and a broom pole. Wow. And water guns and water bottles, and that's it. It was the garland. I just did a Christmas Yoko photo shoot. So. So how did you? How did you think? How did you? Uh, I guess think that up or like know what to use to actually make. Oh, it? I just I just thought of it. I'm like, what's the lightest things I can think of that kind of look like the gun? And I'm like, well, a water gun, okay, for the trigger. And then I just looked up some reference photos uh, of the character itself. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put this all together. And then you look at, um, sometimes you look at other cosplay photos, like, to see what they did. A lot of people make theirs out of wood, but me, I went, like, the really cheap way and just, you know, trashed it. <laughs> so, you know, but... You know, cosplay really is an artistry, then, because it's like you have to really... You have to, like, know how to think up that sort of thing. Because I don't think that would just come to me naturally to, like, know, okay. Yeah, I yeah, it, yeah, sometimes it is, you know, uh, uh, it, is, it is an art in itself. You just have to have an open mind when you're thinking about a lot of things. Yeah, and, like, putting everything together and then, you know, having them actually, like, like I said, like, sew something or cut something or know the materials and then know what's going to work and then... You know, I can only imagine if you made something and then, let's say, it was too big or too small or, you know. Oh, yeah. I can show you one of those things. This thing right here, it weighs over 10 pounds. What is that? I can't, I can't quite see it. It's a giant sword. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Hi. Uh, the character that has the sword is Bishimon from uh, Noragami. Noragami? Oh, yeah, I know about Noragami. Yeah, definitely. This is the giant sword that she carries. Yeah. 10 pounds. I made it out of, like, really heavy materials. And it's not balanced properly. <laughs> but the photos look awesome. <laughs> so you, you would lug that whole thing around at uh, the cons? Yep. Yep. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh. Don't ask me why, but I did. <laughs> So what is your all-time favorite cosplay? Is it soccer or no? Oh. If it is, that's fine. I'm like, you know. No, um, soccer, I, I love soccer, but unfortunately, I just, I've just done her way too much. And <laughs> she just, and honestly, like, I, I'm kind of done with her. I love her. I love her. I will always love her. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of done. Like, I was like, I get it. I, I, I love soccer. Everyone knows I love soccer, so it's okay. So it's okay. <laughs> but um, I guess my favorite cosplay to cosplay right now is tied between two. Uh, I love to cosplay Saber, and I love to cosplay Yoko from Gurren Lagann. Oh, yeah. See, I mean, I've seen, um, I think, a lot of pictures of actually you, uh, you put up of uh, Yoko. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of photos with Yoko. Um, yeah, and a lot of my photographers are actually my friends, too, so, and sometimes, um, they just want practice, so I'm like, you want to do a photo shoot? He's like, okay, so, you know, I get they, got, they have some good cameras, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you're saying they're your friends, I'm like, they're, they're definitely but very professional. sometimes, cameras don't always make the photographer, but, you know, it's okay, because you're still learning, everyone, and to me, if you have a photo shoot, it's, it's practice. If you don't, if you're not paying someone, it's practice, and, and it's okay. You both learn from it. You learn how to pose. You learn. They learn how to take 
their um, like lighting or work with stuff like that. So honestly, it's a win-win for both of you. So is, is it ever hard to coordinate? Like if you're trying to get like like set okay. everything up and then for you're me, trying to make it to a for me, For me, the biggest issue with coordination is the larger your party that you want photographers, you know, that, that you want photos of, the harder it gets because there's so many people that you have to direct to pose and, you know, get them all to cooperate. Sometimes it's kind of hard. Yeah. Oh, I, we have a comment here I want to mention. Um, I'm, I feel like, again, I know I'm butchering names today, folks. I do apologize. <laughs> I do. So I really do try to get better. But, um, um, and you can correct me if you want to in the comment section. Uh, Taheg uh, Gloater said, Julia, your saber is epic. Very cool costume. So he said that a few minutes ago. So. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel so loved. <laughs> so <laughs> now I guess I want to say, um, you know, we're getting ready to just wrap everything up. You know, I don't want to want to make sure we don't go uh, too far over an hour today. So anybody can ask any last questions they might have. Um, I don't know if you might have any um, advice for anybody who wants to not just cosplay, but like actually like take their cosplay to the next level out there. Do you have any pointers or tips or what process would you say that you that some someone should take if they want to take cosplay very seriously? Okay. Um. Well, if you want to take it like to the top, to the top, I would suggest going to an agency, start modeling, just just modeling, and work your way up from there. Because, unfortunately, in modeling, you can't just do one thing. You have to be multiple things. I mean, you can choose one specific thing, but you're not really going to go anywhere if you're just doing one thing all the time. But um, you just got to be open to different things, like... Okay, today's a swimsuit photo shoot. Okay, we're gonna do a swimsuit photo shoot. Okay, today's the ball ball gown photo shoot. Okay, we're gonna dress in ball gowns. Like you just be open to it. And um, for people who want to cosplay, just do it. As Shia LaBeouf once said, just do it. Do it. <laughs> and um, but you know, and I know it's hard, and I know sometimes it puts you out of your comfort zone. Honestly, I think it's something that you should do at least once in your life. Just give it a try. You never know. And you meet so many cool people. Like, just just, just come out of your shell just a tiny little bit. And I'm sure someone will meet you halfway there. Wow. Well, thank you. I, You know, I mean, I, I'm glad that you're giving these tips because I'm like, like I say myself, I've never cosplayed. I would like to. Um, and, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'd want to do it seriously, but I think, you know, a lot of people out there probably really appreciate that. I know your fans do. Um, yeah. you know, um, uh, my fans are my friends. I don't even call them fans. I call them friends. <laughs> because I love all of them. I really do. Oh, um, I'm ready to cry. <laughs> I definitely want to say today, because um, I know we both know Charles Anime. You know, definitely want to oh, yeah. give him some shout outs today. <laughs> The universe want to give that a shout out today hopefully it's appreciated <laughs> oh yeah i'm sure it is i'll tell them later if I, if I, i'll be like we gave you a shout out i hope you like it <laughs> oh yeah definitely i know um you know i hope you you enjoyed being on the stream today did you or did you know, i did i had so much fun i wish we didn't have like a one hour time limit because i could go on for hours <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, no, well, you know, I mean, to be honest, we can always have you back on. I would love to have you back on and, you know, um, you know That would be about... great. Maybe at a convention. Oh, yeah, that would even be great as well. I mean, you need to come to Yomacon. And I tell everybody this. Oh, my this. God. I know everyone. Oh, my God. That convention, I've heard so much about that convention. I'm telling you, Yomacon is a really great convention. Actually, we did an uh, interview with uh, Morgan Collin. He's the uh, CEO of Yomacon uh, not too long ago. Um, actually, back in what was it? October, September. Mis misconstruing the dates. I think it was in September, but it's on our on our page. So if you guys want to like find out about how cons are made or you know the process of YomaCon or anything like that, you should check that out. Now it's a lot of work. A lot of work. So oh yeah. You know. A lot of work. Um, let me see here. I want to actually see if I can um 
what's the what is your YouTube channel any different? Because I'm subscribed to you, but like, okay, you any my YouTube channel it's literally Sakura Haruno Girl, except the L is a one. That's it. Sakura Haruno Girl, except the L is the one. I think I'll type it here. Let me double check because honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> hold on a second. It's um yeah. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I promise I'm not, you know, noob at this. Girl, hold on. Oh, I know. It's Sakura Haruno Girl, and I'm one at the end of it. Sakura Haruno Girl, one. Okay, you guys yep. heard it here, folks. Now, before you guys leave, um, there is one thing I would like for you guys to go ahead and check out. We have a... Um, quick two-minute trailer, or I don't know if you call it a trailer, but just a quick uh, video of some of the manga releases that we're going to be uh, putting out later on, not only this week, but then the following forward. So if you can stay for two minutes, folks, um, you know, go ahead and throw it up for you guys to be able to check out. So just hold tight manga. for just one moment. I love manga so much. Actually, this is a good chance to ask you this. Would you ever cosplay as an original character? Yes, and I have before. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes, well, tell me about this. Tell me about the story real quick. I know we're running a little bit over, but I want to hear about this first. Okay. Well, um, I made well, kind of like a D and D character actually. Um, when I was a kid, we used to have like D and D sessions in school, and um, I made my character. My character had like a red dress, with, like a dagger, and she was like a spy almost. So that's what I kind of do. This is the old photos. You can find them on WorldCosplay.com. But old like it's a nice red dress that my aunt made for me and i just used my real hair and i had a crown and i had like a hood that was it <laughs> it was like a D, D session so you just like, did it on your own or they asked you like hey can you can you uh cosplay as my oc pardon what? Said, did you just like did you did you just like decide to do it on your own or did like they ask oh yeah I, I did it on my own it was my own character so. oh it was your own character okay yeah okay. i missed that part i thought it was like i thought you were saying it was someone that you knew oh no i mean i wouldn't mind doing something for someone too that'd be fun like so like do you have your own like <laughs> how would i say um stories that you write or anything like that um, well, aside from fan fiction. <laughs> fan fiction counts. I mean, you know, there's a lot of fan I mean, fictions out there that... I ship a lot of things. Um, I haven't updated in years. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, fan fiction, I, I do write, but honestly, I really don't really do much of that anymore. Um, I just stick to cosplay. <laughs> and, like, maybe some role play, like, on the on sites, role play sites, stuff like it. So how come you don't like, um, if you do role playing, like, how come you don't, um, I don't know, like, guess upload that, like, where you guys might have, like, a role playing session? Um, uh, because I hate typing. <laughs> <laughs> I hate typing. I hate typing so much. Like, I would do so much stuff. I swear. I just hate typing. Like, oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, I'm the same way. I know what you're saying. I, I'm much more of a talkative person. You know, like, I... I feel like sometimes I run on a little bit too much. Like I actually have to hold myself back on here because I feel like I'll just like, yeah, you know. But <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know. I feel the same way sometimes. Oh. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay, Julia. Just calm down. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. But um, Do that manga thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to go ahead and start that up right now for you folks. Oh, uh, if I can find it. Okay, where did you go? Now you're seeing everything. Uh, this should be it right here. Okay. All right. Enjoy, folks. If my computer can load it. <laughs> oh no, you got them. It's I believe loading, it's just, it's being a little slow, but let me turn it down a little bit on the resolution. Let's 
so many programs going at once. I know how that feels. <laughs> If it doesn't load, then it is available on the page, but, uh, okay, here we go. I think it's going. Uh, I might just say bump it now. Uh... You know what? It's probably not going to work, so... If you want to check it out, I'll put it down in the comment section below. Um, and we have it on the page, so definitely make sure you check it out. We're releasing a new series next week called Exidio. Um, I think a lot of you guys will like if you like monster hunting, if you like strong characters, if you like, um, I would say, uh, you know, like a lot of plot twists and like a fun story, you'll definitely enjoy Exidio. And you'll see a lot of the posts coming up on the page about that. But uh, anyway, I want to thank you today, Julia, for coming on the show. It well, really thank you for having me, because I had so much fun. <laughs> well, I had fun, too. I definitely did. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I want to have you back on eventually. And, um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for coming today. And I'll let you guys know who the next Shining Spotlight guest is uh, coming up. Just And if, you, if you're interested in getting on Shining Spotlight, uh, just feel free to send us a message and send us what you, got, what, what you have. And, you know, we'll definitely look into it and, and uh, you know, possibly consider you as a guest. So, see you guys later.